The Battle of Firebase Ripcord was a 23-day battle between the U.S. Army 101st Airborne Division and the North Vietnamese Army in early 1970. It was the last major confrontation between United States ground forces and the North Vietnamese Army. The battle took place in the Ashur Valley in Vietnam, not far from the city of Hue. Three medals of honor and six distinguished service crosses were awarded to participants for actions during these operations. Frank Marshall was one of the few survivors of the Battle of Ripcord. Mr. Frank Marshall is a Vietnam veteran. He's also a um, participant. He fought in the Battle of the Ripcord, which was one of the last and bloodiest battles of the Vietnam War. I grew up down in North Philly, the Italian section around Fifth and Pike. Growing up, I went to Dobbins High School, worked a little bit after school as a printer, and then I was drafted. How did you end up with 101st Airborne? They put you in Long Bend down south, and then they send you to companies that are in need of uh, men. So you don't know where you're getting assigned until you get there. And I got there, and I was assigned 101st Airborne, and flew up north. The guys that were on the ground at that time in my company, they were bearded, long hair, dirty, muddy, because it was raining. Uh, I just didn't want to get off the helicopter. Talk about the Battle of the Ripcord. What led up to it? Why did it occur? Hamburger Hill happened in uh, May 1969. They tried to take over a hill and they were trying to block the MVA from coming down into the Ho Chi Minh Trail and all in that area. Um, they abandoned Hamburger Hill and then they waited until after the monsoons and in 1970, on March 12, 1970, my company, Alpha Company, the whole battalion was going to go back and take over that area. Uh, at the mouth of the Ashore Valley. On March 12th, my company went back to the rear that morning, waiting to go out on the helicopters to get out onto this hilltop. Um, it was a bare hilltop. We were going to open it up and make it a fire base. So my infantry company was to go out there and prep it and land, and the artillery and all that would come in afterwards. As we were in the sky, it was amazing. It must have been 30, 40 helicopters coming in the UEs, about 30, 40 UEs at a time in the sky. Cobras, we could see the Phantom jets bombing the hill, everything else prepping it. And we were going out to the land on this hill. Why did it evolve in such a long battle? The MVA kept bringing more and more troops down there. It ended up they had about 30, 40,000 troops around us. We only had about 600 to 800 at the most at any one time in that area of Americas. And Chuck Norris, the actor, his brother Whelan Norris was with, with us in Alpha Company. Um, he started to walk point one day and uh, he got hit and killed on that day. Um, Is this where you got the Bronze Star for one of your commendations? Yes. At that point, the MVA is still coming up the hill, so my captain was calling in 250-pound bombers from the Phantom Jets, walking them up the hill. Wasn't stopping them, so he called in and he said, drop it right on top of us. So we called in Danger Close, and a 250-pound bomb dropped right on top of us. At that point, <clears throat> that scared the MVA away. At that point, we had lost, we had 56 wounded and 14 dead out of 76. There was only six guys left that could fight. What was it like coming home? I took off my clothes. Nobody respected you, and it, it was a pretty bad feeling, and I just put it behind me. Mm -hmm. I, I kept it in my mind. In the back of my mind, it was there, but uh, it bothered me every night, but I didn't talk about it to nobody.